kaunti ya Nakuru na sasa tuangazie masuala ya utunzaji mazingira ambapo wadau kutoka sekta hiyo wamejumuika kwenye matembezi ya kilomita 25 kando kando mwa mto Ewaso Nyiro kwa lengo la kuhamasisha jamii kuhusu umuhimu wa utunzaji wa mto na mazingira kwa ujumla ni kampeni ambayo imeleta pamoja mashirika kadhaa ya serikali na ya kibinafsi yakiongozwa na shirika la WWF Kenya ambapo kampeni hiyo itaendelea kwa siku tatu mfululizo kutoka la ekipi ya mwanahabari mwenzangu Clement Masombo ana maelezo zaidi. Mbinu za ukulima na shughuli nyingine za binadamu ni baadhi ya sababu kuu zilizotajwa kuchangia mito kukauka humu nchini. Haya yamebainika kwenye kampeni ya siku tatu ya uhamasisho iliyowaleta pamoja wadau katika sekta ya utunzaji wa mazingira. We have joined with other stakeholders to campaign on a journey that is called journey for waters. Journey for for waters means that we want to re, to protect to campaign to create our awareness to communities that we need to protect our waters, we need to protect our rivers. But we have also seen situations where there are conflicts. People downstream moving up Uh, to access water why because of a times of obstruction for unsustainable agriculture irrigation um, agriculture kwenye kampeni hiyo wanaoshiriki wanalenga kutembea mwendo wa kilomita 25 kando kando mwa mto ya Wasonyiro uliona chanzo chake kwenye mlima wa Kenya na safu ya milima ya Badeas. We are campaigning against excessive obstruction of water by farmers along the river so that downstream animals can get water. We are also campaigning and creating awareness about use of poison which is pollution, polluting our rivers and polluting the waters that goes downstream. You have seen this that from the mountain the water was very clean and there was that vegetation cover. But once we come where the, where the people live We have this what we, this we call a human activity whereby we have cultivated up to riparian land. So a river like Livatuma which is so huge it is like a stream. Mto wa Sonyiro utegemewa na zaidi ya wakazi milioni 3.6 wanaotumia maji yake kwa shughuli ya nyumbani na shughuli nyingine kama vile unyunyiziaji wa mimea. Aidha wanyama pia utegemea sana maji ya mto huu unaotiririka kwenda hadi kilomita 700. We are trying to engage these communities to educate them because some of them it's because of ignorance and others is because of lack of awareness they don't understand uh, the impact they're doing upstream uh, what it uh, does to the communities downstream Ewaso Nyiro is almost 700 kilometers but uh, we're going to walk a uh, total distance of around 25 kilometers uh, so we are targeting your walking uh, the first day took about 8 kilometers today we're going to do well over another 8 kilometers Wadau wanapendekeza kushirikisha jamii zinazoishi karibu na mito kwenye kampeni zitakazowaelimisha jinsi ya kuiga mbinu bora za ukulima na zinazoambatana na mapendekezo ya kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Ukiangalia ile teknolojia ambayo ama ile system ambayo wakulima wadogo wanatumia ni ile system ambayo e, inatoa maji mingi kwa mto na pia hayo maji yote yanakuwa wasted kwa sababu mingi yanapotea katika e, juu ya joto ya, in terms of uh, evaporation awamu ya pili ya kampeni ya uhamasisho kuhusu utunzaji wa mazingira na vyanzo vya maji imejiri miezi michache tu baada ya taifa la Kenya kushuhudia kipindi kirefu cha kiangazi kilichosababisha mimea kunyauka na mamilioni ya mifugo kufa Clement Masombo KTN News Maandalizi ya awamu ya nane ya kongamano la ugatuzi yanaendelea